Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I have a video of some even longer range shooting for you guys, hopefully. I have uh, set up a mock family of chipmunks about 70 to 73 yards from here. And uh, they're about 3 inch tall pieces of aluminum can that I've cut. And uh, I'll be shooting at them today with my favorite all around pellet and small game pellet for this uh, particular rifle my uh, Crossman Premier hollow points that you see there in the center of the screen. Dome design really gives them stability, especially at longer distances past 50 yards, so that's what I'll be using for my test today. As stated, Gamo Big Cat 1200 with the uh, Leapers 4x16 by 50 adjustable objective scope with eliminated mill dot reticle and I will be using the back of this chair as my uh, as my uh, support and perch for shooting. You can see that we have absolutely beautiful Northern California day and it sounds like there are some crows in the background which is a good thing, it's always a fun thing. We'll walk all the way out here past the row of orange trees all the way out here, past where the almond orchard used to be. Past where my 60 yard shooting post was set up. And out about another 10 to 12 yards to my mock family of chipmunks here. You can see they're just small pieces of aluminum can, about three inches tall each. See, they're about the size of a fist. And uh, as stated, they're just over 70 yards away. That brush right there, that line of brush, is actually a 75 yard marker for me. So to be just shy of that, probably between 70 and 73 yards. Be setting my camera on this cool piece of aluminum with a birchwood casey over it that I've already shot up as a stand for my camera. Oh, yeah, and I almost forgot another little special treat for you guys today. There it is, the face of Maccabee Speed. When I first started doing these videos, I was uh, almost uncomfortable to be on camera, you know what I mean? I had never done anything like this before. I only did the pellet testing videos as more of a, an informational monologue almost. Like I, I went back and watched my old videos the other day and I was really tight and uh, very stoic, you know what I mean? Almost like a, a teacher who hasn't done it for very long. But uh, the more I've done these videos, the more I've come to like making them for you guys, and the more I seem to have almost uh, come out of the out of my shell on the uh, production side of it. So hopefully you'll be seeing a lot more of me in my videos and reviews, and uh, hopefully you get a chance to see some good shooting today. Here we go, guys. And there is my family of chipmunks. I will uh, go ahead and try and kill them all for you guys. See you in a bit.
right. Nice. Well, it's not 10 bullseyes, but that's 10 consecutive hits, even if a few of them were glancing from 70 to 73 yards. Let's check it out, guys. Bam. Two center mass shots right out the back. That looks good to me. That's one confirmed kill on Chipmunk number one. This one, the first one was a good shot, and the second one is one of those couple of holes. Definitely a glancing blow on that one. One clean shot. Oh, looks like I almost missed on that one, but connection is connection, and we see the impact to prove it. That one got knocked over good. That one was knocked over uh, really well there. I didn't shoot that one twice, I think, because of the fact that uh, it uh, knocked over so well the first time. So I made up for it by shooting another one uh, uh, twice, uh, the third time, excuse me. And this one was hit really solidly, a couple of times, nice shots. So, my opinion, that's a pretty good average. I feel like I just went 10 for 10 at 70 plus yards. So, uh, as we take a walk back, I think that this goes to show that for Crossman to be able to produce any kind of round that is stable at that kind of a distance in a brake barrel setup, not even a fixed barrel setup, but a brake barrel setup, that speaks just volumes about the uh, quality and consistency of Crossman as far as an ammunition maker. Kind of coming up on my perch here. Here we are, back where we started from, Big Cat 1200, seemingly accurate. All right, you guys, well, if you haven't done so already, please take the time to rate and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video, and uh, feel free to comment. Please don't flame me for my uh, near misses on the rest of those cans. I do the best I can, but I'm not like a scout sniper or anything. In any event, like I said, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and uh, thanks a lot.